Hey guys, this is Goku and in this video I'm going to show you uh, the simple GTO trainer and I'm going to, to show you how to set up the trial version and we're gonna play with it a little bit. Uh, honestly I just downloaded this and I am not sure really how it works but uh, it shouldn't be that difficult so let's just uh, jump right into it. We will set up the trial and we will just try to play with this tool and hopefully we'll get to explore uh, how it works. So in this, once you install this and you set up an account, uh, then you'll be able to open this on your desktop and in this license tab you'll be able to click this uh, request pro trial and we're gonna confirm and we're gonna copy this trial trial code to clipboard and now we can click activate pro enter this code click apply and hopefully we'll be able to use the pro version yes we have a success that's great and i think that's it can we do add pack now? Okay, add pack. So I guess mm, if we bought some pack, some GTO training pack, then here's how we would add it. We would just, we would get a key uh, on the simple GTO trainer website and then we would enter it here and apply. But we do not have it. So we will go to training packs and we should have some here, I think. We have some free ones uh, and we can also click out here okay now let me go back to the license do I do anything else here I think not do I click activate pro no okay so now what we can do is we can go to training packs and can we use any of these uh, paid ones I wonder we're gonna play some. Mm. Okay, we cannot use these. So for this, we have to pay. I assume we can click buy, and then we'll be able to to use these mm, training packs. But we have some free ones: free Ford Bed Pot, free PLO pack, free starter drills, and free starter regular. I'm just wondering what to do. Maybe we can play some PLO just for the heck of it. Uh, we can click here, play or train. Uh, I wonder what's the difference, but maybe let's click train. Okay, we see a, a spot. We can open it on the full page, I guess. And we see options, check, bet 9, bet 18, we see some randomizer even, that's nice. And I think we're just playing our small blind versus big blind 100 BB pot, uh, stacks and 3 bet pot. So let's play uh, a few hands of this and then we can maybe see what the difference is between uh, this other option which was something else. Okay, so uh, here we will just check. Okay, we see the action check is played 78% of the time. It's a best EV option. The villain check behind. Now we have two pair. Uh, now do we bet at this? Do we check again? I think we check again. And the solver does the same. And we hit a third pair, which we're going to check for the third time. And the solver does this as well. And the villain bets 18. So a full pot. Now do we call this or do we fold? Uh, I think we call this given that we have three pair and we block a bit. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see. Nope, we should fold this. Calling is a uh, small EV loss, but 
the solver only does this 1% of the time, so this should obviously be a fold. Even though, uh, yeah, just a fold. <laughs> okay, ace queen 10 tray on a queen 5 deuce. Do we bet this? Do we check? I think we bet this half pot. Nope, we should check 98% of the time. Betting is just 1% play. We're gonna check on the 7. Uh, the solver does so as well and we're gonna fold on the bet. We should not do that. We should actually raise all in here 61% of the time and call 39% of the time. Which is very interesting. So falling here is just a bad play. Huh. Okay, yeah, big one. Mm. Jacks and nines on an a65. Villain checks to us. We're gonna check. And we should bet here. 99% of the time. Okay, good to know. Small Evilas, oh, thankfully, but an error nonetheless. Uh, King Queen Jack Six on an Ace Queen Seven, all hearts. <sighs> I think we check this. Yeah, so does the solver. We check again on the Ace, I think. Yep, and we fall to a bed. That's pretty straightforward. Now on a king 10-4 with two hearts. Uh, the villain leads out to us. Nine dollars. And I think we just call here, right? Yeah, 99.9% .9 of the time. Now there's an ace on the turn and the villain bets half pot. I think we fold here. And we should not, we should raise, we should do, we should call 100% of the time. Okay. Good to know. Queen 10, 6, 4, double suited on King 9, deuce. Uh, the, the villain leads to us for half pot. I think we just call. Yeah, there's a 6 on the turn. Villain checks. Do we take a stab at this? Mm. I think we check behind. Yeah, 61% of the time. And there's an 8 on the turn, on the river. And we have to fold. Yes. Now we have queen 10, 9, 9 on an 8, 4, deuce. And I think we check here. Yes, 100%. And we call. Half pot bet here. Think so? No, we should fold. And on a three of hearts, I'm just gonna check fold. Yep. Ace king ten nine on a nine five king. Uh, villain checks. We're gonna bet nine here. And villain folds. Queen 10 4 4 on an ace 9 8. We're gonna check. And should we call a bet? I honestly have no idea. I feel like I would fold. Yeah. It's 100% fold. And 
Now we have jack 10 9 7 on a king 3 3. We're just gonna check this, I think. Yes. Now we uh, hit a, a wrap. Well, not a wrap. Hit an open ender. So maybe we should bet since we picked up some more equity. Let's try betting. No, we should check again. Uh, we should only yeah bet here almost never. Ja five five four four on a seven six seven is a check. On an ace of diamonds. I think we're gonna check once again. We're gonna call the bet. And on another ace on the river. I think we gotta uh, bet at this, but bet half pot or full pot. Probably we have to bet half pot. Nope, full pot. We should bet. Uh, full pot is the best EV action, but it's only played 20% uh, of the time and 78% of the time we should bet half pot like we did. But it's a slow. It's a small EV loss, but once the villain shoves, we just have to fold, of course. Nine eight eight six on a king three three. We're gonna check and fold. Yes. Queen ten nine nine on a king seven ace with two hearts. We also have two hearts and we have a backdoor flush, so I think we're gonna bet nine here. And we should not, we should just check behind. Yeah, I think in a heads up situation, small blind versus big blind, we really do a lot of checking in Omaha. A lot more than I would expect, which is, uh, which is good, we're learning something. Ace King nine seven on a Queen seven Queen. Uh, is that a bet nine or is that a check? I think that's mostly a bet nine, right? Nope, that's mostly a check, and rarely a bet nine. Okay, Queen ten nine seven on a Queen five Deuce. Small blind checks to us. I think we check behind, right? 44% uh, of the time. Okay. And now there's a nine small blind checks. I think we're gonna bet. But how much? Do we bet the pot here or half pot? Maybe half pot. Now oh, we should bet the pot, actually. And now the small blind checks again. There's a seven of diamonds on the river, and we're gonna bet half pot. We should act once again, but full pot. Okay. King 10, 9, 7, double suited on a 10, 4 jack. Small blind checks. And we're gonna bet 9 here. And we should bet 18, so we should bet the pot here, not bet half pot. Okay. Ace King five five on an Ace Queen seven all hearts. I think we bet half pot here to see where we are. Yeah, sixty seven percent of the time. Now we're gonna check on the nine and on the river when the villain leads. What do we do? Do we call here with a pair of aces and king kicker? I don't think so, right? Can we call this here? Yeah, we cannot. Good. Now we have king, queen, queen, nine on a 10 for jack. So we have a nice wrap. And we're going to bet nine. And we should be betting 18, really. 
we should be betting full pot, not just half pot. But uh, as you can see, the solver is actually, and I'm wondering how could I show this? Uh, 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 what is this E? Oh, it's probably e evaluate, yep. So as you can see, the solver is actually doing 55% of checking here with this wrap, uh, which is quite interesting. And it's doing 14% of betting half pot and 31% of betting full pot. Cool. Uh, how do we get back to where we were? Okay, just like that. That's what I could have done. Okay. And now that we hit our hand, do we bet full pot? Do we bet half pot? Or do we check? And we see the uh, randomizer uh, picked the nine, so we should probably go with a rare play. And which play is rare here? Is it the check? No. Uh, we should never play check here. We should play bad half pot 86% of the time and bad full pot 14% of the time. Yeah, I guess we cannot or should not be checking here because we just hit the nuts and we do not have the flush draw. So we do not want to give free cards. And this makes a lot of sense. I don't really know why I was thinking about uh, the check at all. I should definitely not be thinking about that. Okay, now we have King Jack 8 6 double suited on the Queen 6 deuce board. I think we're gonna check here. Solver does the same, and we're falling to a bet. We should not be falling to a bet here. I guess it's because we have double suited hand cards, we have a pair and one over card. Okay, cool. So we do not fold to a single bet on a board like this. Okay, King Jack 10 8 on an A6 5. We're gonna check. And now for sure we fold, right? Yes. Ace Queen 8 4 on a King 3 3. I think we check behind. We should uh, rather bet a lot of the time. Checking is uh, a rare play. But we see these options are pretty much the same, right? And on a nace on the turn, I think we're gonna check again. Or should we bet? Let's check. Yes. And four of hearts on the river villain checks. Now do we bet? I think we check behind. Yes. Jack ten eight seven on a queen does king. We have a uh, an open ender and. I think we bet 9 here, yeah, 95% of the time. There's an 8 on the turn. I think we check here, the majority, nope. We continue betting here, the majority of the time. Okay, that's interesting. Never check here. Okay. Ace queen 10 4 on a 9 5 king. Mm, do we check here? Yes, we do. Now we've hit our hand. So we should probably bet, but also the flush came. I'm gonna bet 9. Nope, this is a check 100% of the time. 
Okay. Ace King ten three on a Queen six deuce. Villain checks. Do we bet here? Yes, we do. Checking is very rare, and we actually win, which is nice. And now we have a Queen Jack Jack ten on an Ace nine eight, which is a lovely wrap. And one that we're gonna bet. Nine? Okay, we should check here. Actually. Instead of betting. And now we're gonna check, of course. And do we call a full pot bet here? Hmm. I think we do. But we didn't hit our hand. Now do we bluff at this or do we fold? I think if we've gone here is there any uh, reason to give up on the hand? Hmm. I think not. I think we gotta pull the trigger. But no, we should actually give up. Good to know. <laughs> okay, we played 25 hands. Let's see our EV here. It's pretty bad. Seems like we've uh, lost 60 uh, BBs of EV loss over 25 hands. So, and that's actually pretty terrible. Mm. <laughs> but it's the first time we're, we're playing this. So, hopefully we'll get better as we go. Um, yeah, the biggest mistakes we've done. You can click E here to evaluate. Yeah, this bluff here at the river. We should have uh, never do that. We should just give up on the hand. What else here? There's a pretty big mistake. So, uh, yeah, checking with the wrap on the turn, uh, actually with the straight on the turn is a terrible idea. We should bet half pot 86% of the time or bet full pot the remainder. And another bad decision was a uh, very bad one was this here with ace queen 10 3 and a queen 5 deuce 7. We uh, chose to fold to a bet on the turn to a bet uh, of half pot. And we should instead shove it. Now this is a, a very interesting spot actually. I think this is because of uh, the amount of sh possible straight draws. And not real hands. I guess, and because we have a three, that uh, it's such a high percentage of shoving. But yeah, it's uh, it's been fun. We can see we tend to bet more than the GTO, and we tend to check less. But I think all of this can improve with time. So now we can end this session here. Let me see how many minutes we've got. We've got 24 minutes, so I think this will be it for the first session. I really enjoyed playing it and, and using this, this tool. So thank you for watching. Uh, there will be many more of these in the future. I think I will try to play, uh, I don't know, 500 hands of PLO.
with this simple GTR trainer just to check it out, just to see if it's a, a, a nice tool to work on my PLO game, which is very rusty, as you can see. Uh, yeah, I didn't really even realize uh, what we were playing that much, and it was a 3 bad pot. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. You want to learn how to play poker? Great. You have little or no experience playing poker? No problem. Do you want to learn the fundamentals, the most basic principles that allow you to easily win money when playing with casual players? That's perfect, because this course was created specifically for people like you. My name is Mateusz, I've played over 3 million hands of No Limit Texas Hold'em and I'd like to teach you how to play poker like a pro. What you will learn in this course are the fundamentals the ABC of poker condensed into 21 short and easily digestible lectures. In each lecture you will learn a different concept which you can test out and practice immediately after watching. Well, do you want to become a good poker player? Do you want to be able to beat recreational players easily? Do you want to have a great time winning at your local home games? Great! Get this course now and start winning at poker.